Hello, my name is Captain Terry Allison, and I'm an officer of the Salvation Army here in Duluth, Minnesota, along with my husband, Brian, who you will hear from in a few minutes. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I wanted to tell you a little bit about what goes on within the walls here at the Salvation Army, maybe more than you even knew. As officers of the Salvation Army, uh, we are administrators and pastors. You may not know this, but the Salvation Army is a church. We meet uh, every week on Sundays at 11 o'clock. Anybody is welcome to join. Can we have uh, programs for men and women and a, and a Wednesday afternoon youth program? Sometimes in life, you just need somebody to walk alongside you and help you sort through some of the problems that you're having and how to get from the situation that you're in um, to maybe a goal that you have set. Other services that we have that you may be familiar with are housing, emergency assistance, and a Monday through Friday uh, feeding program. Our Monday through Friday feeding program is so much more than just a full belly. Oftentimes it fills a need for social. Uh, interaction. Uh, people come here, they love the food, they know Nan the cook, and they look forward to uh, different dishes that she she has. Going beyond just the, the Monday through Friday lunch, sometimes the need for food goes a little bit more uh, into the home. The bare cupboards need to be filled. So we have a food pantry as well as a medical food pantry. Uh, the medical food pantry is important. It's the only one in the Duluth area, and it serves those who are on a special uh, doctor-restricted diet. Our housing program is top-notch. We have uh, several case managers that work one-on-one -on -one with families who have, may have a variety of problems that have led them to the point where they're uh, going to face homelessness or they, they currently are homeless. Our emergency assistance helps people in the Duluth area when they uh, may face a situation where they need help with their rent or their water or utilities are about to be shut off. There are many times when a person is right on the verge of becoming homeless, but receiving a little bit of assistance can help them to bridge that gap and remain in their own apartment or home. So this gym is not just used for basketball. As you can see, it is filled with toys and food. Christmas time, this place is alive with uh, workers filling orders for uh, applications of families that are looking for a little extra assistance at Christmas time. Maybe they just need a little more food in their cupboard to have that Christmas dinner, or they're in need of some assistance to put some toys under the tree for their children. The Salvation Army is a well-known name for helping people, but we could not do what we do without the uh, willingness and resources of our volunteers. So if you have helped in any way ringing a bell or bringing in toys or food at Christmas time or throughout the year, we want to thank you. And if you find yourself in a situation where you could use help, do not hesitate to call.
job, Aubrey.
Come on, Reese.
I've been trying.
Hey, we hope you enjoyed that RBA game. We're so happy to, that you and your family are with us. I, I've been able to have a very good experience with basketball. I grew up with basketball. Um, started in uh, third or fourth grade. I don't remember exactly which grade, but and uh, <clears throat> all the way through high school, um, all my friends, we were all we were all basketball players. Um, I was able to learn just amazing things, teamwork, uh, just a good good competition, discipline. Well, one of the things that encourages me so much about our program and the RBA is that if we go beyond the competition, we go beyond um, just the discipline and all of those things that are good, but we, we, we take another step towards, the, towards character with marks of, of excellence, self-control and uh, kindness and patience and, and those types of things. I remember uh, as I grew up and as I was playing, I remember looking up to um, the players that were older than me. And so the opportunity for our kids to actually be involved with um, older kids, varsity kids that are, that are playing, is incredible. Um, it, in, in many cases, I'm sure it's inspiring enough that would push them to continue to, to try, to continue to work, to continue to dribble better, to shoot better, and all of those things. This is a good opportunity to say thank you to our coaches. They don't have to do this. For them to be able to speak into, people's, uh, into young people's lives is, is incredible. As I mentioned before, I have played basketball, and I remember um, growing up through the ranks and, and being so excited to play uh, eventually my junior and senior year for my coach, for the coach that I looked up to. So we understand at RBA that coaches have an incredible opportunity to speak into young people's lives. Our coaches, um, we're proud of them, and we want them to understand how important their role is, that they can actually walk alongside um, parents and, and uh, other RBA staff and, and, and even the refs, that we can learn um, just how important uh, m the marks of excellence are, um, even how important it is to win and lose and to win well, but also to, to lose well too. Um, so we're, we are um, forever grateful to the coaches. They continue to make an impact and they're the we understand that there are RBA kids that will want to be coaches in the future. I'm convinced that, um, that the young people through RBA are going to be able to learn uh, life skills. They're going to learn um, things that will impact them and affect them on into adulthood. Um, discipline is, is very, very important. Sportsmanship is extremely important. Um, winning well or, or losing well, uh, all of those things, uh, as of course along with teamwork, all of those things are so critical to not just RBA and playing basketball, but when they get older and when they get out into the, the real world, as they say, and that's what we, we take a lot of um, joy in knowing, that these kids are not just playing basketball, they are learning life skills. They're learning what it will be like or what it can be like as an adult. And my dad is coaching, so that's fun. Um, I play basketball because it's really fun, and I love working as a team and playing this awesome game. I play basketball because it's fun, and I think every kid should play. It's just like something fun to do. It's fun to play with all my friends. I'm coaching because my girls enjoy it, so they have a lot of fun doing it. So it's fun to be around the girls and, and uh, be able to do activities with them. I'm uh, coaching Salvation Army this year uh, to try to teach the kids uh, a little bit about how to play basketball and also to uh, be good people and be good citizens. I uh, just like working with kids. I'm um, getting older these days, so in order to stay involved with basketball, uh, coach the kids, my son, and friends of ours, so keeps me young, young at heart anyways, young at heart. 
I'm coaching because my, my daughter's playing and because I love basketball and because I love working with uh, little girls in particular. I've got a lot of them at my house, my daughters, and I just want to see them uh, come to love basketball, have fun doing it, and get better. Uh, I think it's great to be in the community and to see the girls. I wanted to help coach out with RBA. I saw they, needed, they had a need and I thought it would be a fun opportunity. Um, I coach because it's an opportunity just to pass on things that I learned and that were told to me when I was being coached and just to see the kids grow and I think from the beginning of the year to the end of the year seeing how far they come and how much they gel as a team is really rewarding. To uh, teach the game and uh, help the, the players learn the game and have fun. Oh, It's so much fun to see the kids progress and they're great kids and uh, we just have a lot of fun.